Hello wonderful people, Connor Whitmore here again with another video for you on the Naughty Step channel. Here we go, latest EP release from Halcyon, it is by Grape Milk, it is called Can You See Me? Grape Milk, honestly, one of the most inventive, one of the most colourful, cartoonish, fun producers in bass music overall, not just the underground. Yeah, fantastic producer, five tracks, uh, 21 minutes, 44 seconds total, so quite a stealthy collection we've got here for five tracks. Tracks, I think quite interested by the artwork before we get into the music you know darker colors than usual for great milk the artworks usually quite vibrant and loads of different colors going on maybe this is gonna reflect how the music is gonna go maybe great milk gonna go down a distinctly darker Avenue with these tracks trying out new styles and whatnot I don't know I don't know exactly what we're gonna get but that is why I'm looking forward to it typically not knowing what direction great milk is gonna take us in with their music so yeah without any further ado let us kick off with the opener which is called make a deal let's do it if you can't even decide if you want to have a meal oh, keep it right you want to keep it real i told the devil that i want to make a deal if you can't even decide if you want to have a meal oh, keep it right you want to keep it real i'm going to keep my time right so i want to make a deal what are we going to get with this honestly what are we going to get Bit of 100 gex energy going on here with the instrumental and the vocal. Fuck. I mean, it's got consistency to it. I'll definitely say that. It's got a, got a good a good kind of repetition going on here. As unconventional as it is with the layout of um, sounds we're getting here, it's it's catchy. Yeah, typically abstract, typically mind-bending and, yeah, challenging music. So far from Great Milk here, I would say. Oh, fuck indeed. Fuck. Fuck. Fuck indeed. It's got that distinct collage-y, uh, hyper-poppy kind of flavour about it, where it's, it's just a kind of new way of thinking of making music, not adhering to convention and what's normal per se. I mean, it has a structure of sorts, but the way in which Great Milk is going about just trying to evoke feeling, emotion, uh, etc is, is, is different I think uh, again undeniable <laughs> abstract music like this is important especially in a scene where you just get so much formulaic one-dimensional material it is very much just like looking at a painting that you don't quite understand there is a structure here but the way that again great milk goes about just putting these sounds together and trying to get that emotion that understanding that true meaning out of the music itself is just interesting i mean it is abrasive it's jarring it's edgy it doesn't fully work for large parts of it i don't think but it, what i would say is that if you haven't heard great milk stuff before and you're coming into this expecting something conventional and that is just gonna not really asking questions of the listener then i think you're gonna be either just sorely disappointed or you're gonna have to kind of reevaluate going into this because yeah, that is uh, pretty much the opposite of what you're gonna get with this uh, with this kind of music, with this EP, I imagine. Yeah, definitely the kind of track I'm gonna have to sit with a few times just to see how it rubs off on me and what I actually make of it. Jagged in its presentation, in its construction, in the way that it's arranged as well. But it does leave me feeling in that uncomfortability of it, in the uncomfortable feeling it provides, just wanting to understand it more and wanting to see just, again, yeah, how it develops in my mind, how, how my relationship with it changes as I hear it more because at the moment you know when you hear it for the first time you're just like oh that's a bit much it's a bit again abrasive a bit jarring just uh, a bit bit too out there nothing really rooting it or stitching it together all that well but it could end up being a track that you love just because it is different in itself you know it just provides something different to the norm that we have within this scene especially so uh, yeah an interesting opener and one that I think is very much just gonna tell the story for how the rest of the EP is gonna go and and on that note, we have track number two, which is Has a Knife. Fucking flinging the wires about here, but the asterisks are important.
This one's sounding a little bit more normal so far, I'd say. Yeah, definitely. Ooh. Yeah, this one's pretty sick so far, enjoying the, the squelchy, robotic feel of those sounds. And I think it is just a bit easier to get into. I mean, again, not to go against the unconventional approach, but having this kind of structure to it matched with the grape milk aesthetic, it just works. It sounds good. The fuzziness of the percussion as well. I think on the surface, you might be a bit like, oh, bit, bit grating, a little bit harsh on the ear, but really fits with the whole overall aesthetic design going on with this track. I think all the different sides of grape milk are just functioning and working together here very well. Got a little bit of a rhythmy structure to it as well when it comes to the heaviness. Oi, 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 oi. Open the jar, open the jar. Oi. Oh, come on. Oh. Oh, yeah. I love how it's going for something that you'd usually find to be quite, you know, full on and heavy, but it's really got this subdued kind of squashed feel to it, and that just contains it so, so well. Yeah, that one I think will be hard to top. It just has everything that you want, I think, from Great Milk style. It's got the cartoonish appeal, it's got a bit of structure, fantastic sounds, a drop change as well from the first drop to the second drop, that gnarly, savage bite to it as well, just perking up the, 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 the general aesthetic, the general design and style for this particular tune. Opening up in a fantastic way as well with that bubbly, colourful, just sprightly, very vibrant uh, opening that just ticked along really well, uh, you know, really injected a load of good energy from the very beginning. When it comes into the drops, or well, the first one anyway, just got that quite biting, again, menacing, clean, direct. Well, actually not that clean. It has a little bit of a fuzz to it, a little bit of a jagged, fuzzy kind of effect to it, but it still hits in quite a clean way. And a bit of a rhythmy approach there going on, just quite dagger-like and incisive with the, the layout of sounds we were getting there. I enjoyed that. And then the second drop, just going for a similar thing, pretty much the same kind of feel as the first drop, but just squashing it a little bit. Again, making it more subdued and just quelling the nastiness of it a little bit, but it works so well as a switch up. You know, the weirdness I think of the opener but just with a bit more structure a bit more gap filling here and there just makes it that bit more accessible just such good contrast between that between those drop moments and all that do -de 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 -de, you know the bubbly stuff that we get in the interlude sections done extremely well and yeah I do think that one that one will be that will be tough to beat over the course over the stretch of the rest of this EP but on that note the middle cut is I see away track number three A little bit of uh, Leo Trix energy going on here with the opening. I'm a fan, I'm a fan. Just a lovely little future rhythm kind of bop. It really is, really is. Mm, okay. Another tune. It's another tune. Another tune on this EP. I mean, I said that has a knife track number two would be hard to beat, and that is running it pretty close. That tune again just has 
pretty much everything that you would want from Great Milk Style, but also from a track of that kind. It's just such a good, pulsating, gnarly, future rhythm kind of track. Really does tick all the boxes for a track of that kind. Super arresting and captivating from the very beginning with the vocal, just in isolation, then with the little sounds kind of trickling in as we build towards the first drop. And then the heaviness itself, just incredibly biting again, just with that really gravelly, gnarly technological sound kind of propping it up and moving along flowing in the best way i mean not really putting many feet wrong here i have to say even going down to the minutiae of like particular sounds not working i don't really think we get any of that the vocal returns in really effective ways over the course of the track the background touches are pretty exceptional it does have big leo tricks energy and i think great milk might be a bit a little bit miffed at me saying that that it sounds quite similar but for me there's just no real issue or no problem with being directly inspired by people I mean when it comes to like completely ripping whole tunes then you might have to say something about it I think we do get a fair bit of that practically mimicking songs from specific subgenres of dubstep in particular but this is just kind of lending from it in my opinion in the best way you know having their own vocal sample making it catchy and from there just very much utilizing all the things that make a future rhythm track work consistency a bit of pop influence and flavor and that is exactly what we get here it's catchy start to finish and i can just imagine that that is going to be a very very earwormy kind of track just more and more the more i go back to it which will be happening quite a bit but moving on we have the penultimate track which is wag moga wag moga track number four i'm gonna go with that That percussion is um it's uh it's definitely interesting. It's a little bit um sleep paralysis demon this kind of track. I can feel myself having a bit of a um a bit of a fright seeing something in the corner of my room and this playing in the background just kind of echoing in my in my mind a kind of memey approach i'm not gonna lie uh, that was evident from the introduction very much so it just has a bit of a bit of a surreal surrealist kind of feel to it this track i uh, don't quite know where i am Yeah, absolutely do not know what I think of that one, having just heard it once. I mean, from the very beginning, you could tell it was just going to be a bit, a little bit weird, a little bit, yeah, off kilter, but to like the nth degree, like really ramping it up with that, had this funny kind of tribal percussion going on. That was cool. I liked that. Had quite a quite a clean feel to it, but then it was coming in with all this other weird vocal sample usage that was a bit uncomfortable, and then other bits of percussion that were, it, it felt like they were purposefully flat just to kind of amp up the the, the meme aspect of it and going into the heaviness that just becomes even more apparent with the again weird percussion that feels kind of purposefully awkward and janky and just some weird twisted contorted sounds that make you feel very on edge and like you're having some kind of panic attack or something <laughs> i mean yeah it was all very fraught and left me kind of wondering where i was and what i was meant to do with myself i think it does get a bit more refined as it goes on with that second drop just a bit cleaner but i, I think that's kind of not not the angle that I want to go down with this uh, with, with this particular coverage because it doesn't really matter. I think the feeling of it, the uncomfortable nature of the delivery, is what you're meant to get from it. It's just another quite twisted, weird, abstract grape milk kind of track. One thing I would say is that tonally, it's placed perfectly in the EP. I don't think you could have had this track any earlier in the five tracks within the collection overall, and I don't think you would have had it at the end either. It's just a little tied over as the fourth track of five just to bring the energy down a little bit not have something as hypey i mean it is weird and it is still quite 
Helter Skelter with the sounds that are being used. It's very in your face. It's very technological still, but it does have that more toned down, more uh, kind of slug-like and sloth-like approach, which I think works as the final tune in preparation. Sorry, penultimate tune in preparation for the final cut, which is what we're going to hear now. A yo check, which comes up to nearly five minutes in length. Okay. It's like a minimal garagey kind of future tracky thingy, my bobby, you know, all of that. Really enjoying the background touches there. A lot of good gap filling and also a lot of good leaving of space, you know. Yeah, that is one of the best drops on the EP so far, definitely. The release into that heaviness was absolutely, absolutely sublime. Oh, mate, there's all sorts going on with this tune. It's a bit of a bit of a random experimental medley going on. This reminds me of the second drop of Fuck That by Skrillex. That little, you know, original dubstep leaning kind of wobby breakdown. It's almost like a bit of a mini mix this track with the amount going on, the amount of different genres. Well, not loads of different genres attempted, but there's a fusion of different styles and influences and it's quickly, quickly hopping and skipping from one idea to another. Damn, what a, what a lovely track to finish off with. Yeah, I've talked a lot about Great Milk just being fun as a producer, the music that is made, the approach to music making and production. And I think that of the five we get here within the EP, I think that shows it the most. Just the, the hopping and skipping, like I mentioned earlier, from one genre, one track to another, how these different influences are kind of fused together, the vocal samples as well, just the playfulness of it overall, how uninhibited it feels and how unpredictable it feels as well in that motion of just fleeting quickly and hopping and skipping again from one little idea to another, flavours and styles being meshed together here. And you might think that it comes across a bit messy. I mean, it does have that arbitrary feel. It definitely is just bouncing quickly from one thing to another, has a little bit of a scattered kind of vibe about it. But I think it is done pretty cohesively well. I think the transitions work even from, you know, the, the introduction, the outro, how they're tied in as well. So yeah, just feeling like a pretty complete track there to end off given how much is going on. But yeah, the EP overall here, definitely one of the most fun that I've heard this year within bass music. I mean, starts a little bit interesting. My biggest fear for the EP is that people who might not be familiar with Great Milk haven't really delved into the Great Milk discography before, don't really understand what Great Milk is about as a producer for the most part. They might hear the first track that's just a little bit, you know, abstract, a little bit weird. My fear is that people might hear that and then turn off it straight away and be like, okay, that's not quite for me if we're going to get that over the course of an EP. But if you stick with it, if you can get past that, then you've got some fantastic future ridden material, stuff that's a bit more colourful and vibrant, stuff that's a bit more dagger-like and biting and menacing. The fourth track is another abstract, uh, weird one, if I'm being honest. Not necessarily in a bad way, it could grow on me, but definitely, again, if you're just getting into Great Milk's music, you might find it a little bit weird, a little bit too out there. And then rounding off with a bit of a collage, a bit of a mini mix, a bit of a, a bit of a showcase of Great Milk's style and the kind of scope of Great Milk's music. And again, approach to music making. So quite a lot going on here. I personally like it quite a lot. Now that I've got to the end of it, just looking forward to getting into it some more hearing this project start to finish seeing which tracks grow on me more number two and three here uh, has a knife and I see a way I would definitely single out if rhythm and future rhythm in particular just stuff we would align with housey on a little bit more classically and typically uh, is your kind of thing those tracks will very much be for you they are fantastic but yeah guys gonna leave it at that that is my thoughts on can you see me 
from Great Milk on Halcyon. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. If you could leave a like on the video, that would be much appreciated. And subscribe along the way if you haven't yet. Hit the notification bell too so you can be notified whenever I drop a new video on the channel. Do let me know down below what you made of the EP. What was your favourite track? What do you make of the collection overall? Do drop all your thoughts in the comments section. My social media accounts are in the description along with my Patreon if you want to help support the channel and get a load of exclusive content along the way. But yeah, thank you again for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I shall see you in the next one, whatever that might be. Keep it naughty until then. Peace.